Hey guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 79 of the FIFA 16 My Player Career Mode series. This episode here is going to be the 2022 Qatar World Cup Special. I have simulated two seasons into the future. Of course, we ended the series with Real Madrid in the 2020 season. I have gone forward to 2022. And we have been selected in the Australian national team, of course. We are 98 rated. We have been selected and we will be participating in the World Cup. In the 2018 World Cup, we looked destined to break out of the group stages. Unfortunately, I went down with injury halfway through the second game and we lost the both the rest of our remaining games and got knocked out. So in this World Cup, I will be looking to win it with Australia. If you guys do go on to enjoy today's episode, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel down below if you are new around here. But let's get into the World Cup. So we face an extremely tough challenge for the opening game of our World Cup. France is taking us on. So this is our group. So it's a pretty tough group to be fair. France, Switzerland, us, and Ecuador. So I think us and France are going to be the sides that go through, but it's definitely going to be very, very difficult, and we need to make sure that we get off to a good start here. Here is the French national side. So they have Vidal in goal, who I have used a lot in FIFA 15. Benzema, Lacazette, Condogbia, Pogba, Varane, Suma. Schneider and they have a really strong side and then here is our lineup so we are starting up front with Jamie McLaren Matty Ryan is in goals Devonte Clute, Massimo Luongo Trent Sainsbury Aaron Moy we have a big big challenge here He's gonna pass that one there Elder crossing it in kicked away headed back into the box we're gonna turn around but that is a crucial challenge from Gonalons Luongo Coming back. We're going to pass it. Devontae Clute coming back to us. We hit it. Oh, I thought we were going to score there. So we have the corner here. We're going to call for it. Throwing our hands up. It comes in. It goes to McLaren. Devere. Sainsbury. McLaren. Oh, Jamie McLaren. Running down the line. McLaren passing that one to us. We hang on to it. Go to Moy. Moy hits it. How do we not have the lead here against France? I don't even know how he got the ball in the first place and how Moy even managed to get to it. But our shooting boots are just missing that little bit. France with a free kick here. Extremely dangerous position. Pogba hits it, but he blows it well over. Goes to Elder. Go on, Moy. Moy hits it. Oh, Aaron freaking Moy. What a strike. I was not expecting that. Aaron Moy with the long shot. We have the 1-0 lead against France in the World Cup opening game. You can probably tell by my reaction that I was a little bit relaxed. I was like, yeah, he's going to miss that. But Aaron Moy has just scored an absolute belter off the left foot before halftime. Keeper stood no chance. What a goal. McLaren playing us through here. What can we do early in the second half? Straight past Zuma. Hit it! 2-0! We are 2-0 up against France in the World Cup. Granted, we are the best player in the world, but that was way too easy. Kurt Zuma just got absolutely wrecked. We are a one-man team. Although, our teammates are picking up the slack today, but I'm happy. 2-0. Here we go. Luongo playing us through. Cutting around. Making 3-0. Jared in his freaking 3-0. Get the fuck up there. 3-0 in the World Cup against France. I can't believe it, fellas. We the, the quality that we have shown, not just us, but players like Moy, like Sainsbury, like McLaren, proves to me that if we're doing this against France, we could win the World Cup. Fellas, our game is going to come to an end. 3-0 up with under 20 minutes to play. I somehow doubt we're going to bottle it from here. Fantastic game. We get a brace. Aaron Moy getting the other goal. And I'm happy with that. 3-0 up against France. Cracking start to the World Cup. So the second matchup in the 2022 World Cup group stages is against Switzerland. 
Taking a look at our group, Ecuador beat Switzerland 1-0, I am presuming. We hung on and won 3-0, so hopefully we can beat Switzerland and basically secure our spot in the next round. Here is the Switzerland lineup. Yanko, the player from our Heather Berlin series, is in there. Mbolo, Shakiri, Kasami, Rodriguez, Scar, Summer. They actually got a pretty decent side, to be fair. And here is the Australian lineup. Is it much different? It's a little bit different to the one against uh, France. McLaren's still there, but Troisi comes in. Luke Devere, Ben Thomas, Josh Risden. They're all new, I think. Uh, Fernandez makes a tackle there for Switzerland. Not quite sure why he didn't have the strike, but he does there. And almost gives the Swiss the lead. Is that Risden running down the line? We're going to call for the cross. It goes in there. Oh, punched away from Summer. The keeper's off his line. Risden to us. We hit it. Oh, what a freaking goal. We can't stop scoring in the World Cup. That is one of the better goals we've scored so far in the tournament. Great pass from Risden. We hit it on the angle. And that just, the way it went into the back of the net was just so classy. We are dominating proceedings. Fernandez on the ball here. Going to Mbolo. Shakiri. Mbolo's still got it though. Mbolo hits it! What a goal from real Donald, Donald Mbolo. And the, things are all tied here. The career mode beast scores and it's one all. Switzerland, great goal. We're going to turn that defender with absolute ease. Playing it through to Jamie McLaren, who runs so far wide. I don't know why he did that. And Yanko makes a tackle. Why would you run so far to the left McLaren? So it is a corner here. I'm going to the penalty spot, throwing my hand up. It goes in there, out to Aaron Moy. We know he can bang a long shot in. McLaren, through to us. We hit it, but that is a crucial block from Scar. So another corner, running into the penalty spot again. Throwing our hands up for it. It comes to us. We get the header on it, but it just goes over. Let's throw easy. Going over the top. Going to cut around. What can we do? We play it through. Hit it, Adam Taggart, but he hits it straight at freaking Jan Summer. They're on the attack here, Switzerland. Don't tell me they're going to win this game. And Bolo, good save from Matt Ryan. Full time, fellas, and our second game in the World Cup ends as a one all draw against Switzerland. We probably deserve to win this game, but Switzerland, they gave us a good run for our money. Definitely a better opponent than the French were. Our final group stages match is going to be against Ecuador. All we need is a point and we do qualify through to the knockout rounds. The same deal with Ecuador. We are both tied on four points. Switzerland and France both tied on one point. So as long as we get a point, we will be through for sure. There's the table there. Here is our starting 11 for this important group stages game. So I think that's, yeah, Adam Taggart starting up front with us. Uh, who else is in there? It's a very similar side to what we have been rocking all tournament long. And here is the Ecuador lineup. So, Ana Valencia up front. Who else is there? Uh, Jefferson Montero, Antonio Valencia, Casque. Here we go. It comes to us early in this game. Running through. We're going to play it short there. Hit that one. Good save there from the keeper. Antonio Valencia just running straight through our defense. He goes to Cazares. He was running down the line, crossing that one, back post into Antonio Valencia, in the box there, and now Valencia scores the goal for Ecuador, and they have the 1-0 lead. What is going on with our defense? They just got picked apart so easily there, it was just draw and passing, it was a classy goal, but pretty disappointed with our defense. Here we go, Moy passing that one to us, we're going to hold it up. We're going to have a crack ourselves. Oh, it gets a little deflection. The goalkeeper stuffs around with it, but we can't get back into this game right now. We're trying to cut around and, like, find some space. We're just going to go ourselves. Playing it short there. Antonis, great save from the keeper. So we have a corner. Let's see if we can get a goal back to try pushing for the draw. It goes in there, but he just misses his header. Good tackle there from us. We go to Antonis, who goes through... McLaren, why would you pass it? Why wouldn't you go yourself, you absolute idiot McLaren? You were one-on-one, -on -one 
and you decided to lay it off to Devante Clute, who was on a pretty poor angle. Far out. Passing this one to us. We're cutting around. Into the box. Hitting it. There it is. One all. We are heading into the knockout rounds of the World Cup. If the score stays this way, we have to do it ourselves because our attack is, besides Moy, most of our attacking players are just brain dead. So we do it ourselves. One all. Urich, we are on the break now. Can we take the lead? We're going to play it through to Tommy Urich. Get there, Tommy. Tommy Urich. Oh, I thought he was beaten up for pace, but fair play to Tommy Gunn. He got there. Not a bad attempt either. So we have the corner now. We're going to throw our hands up for it. It goes in there. We get the header on it. There we go. We have the lead. We are going to be heading into the knockout round for sure. Top of our group. 87th minute. 2-1 against Ecuador. That's it, fellas. Full time in this game. We are heading into the knockout rounds of the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Let's see if we can go on a good run and potentially make the semi-finals or the finals of the World Cup. It is now time for the World Cup round of 16. We are taking on a big giant in world football. We are taking on the Netherlands. Here is the tournament tree for the World Cup. So France were the other country to qualify out of our group. They have Argentina. A couple of big, big games in this round of 16 stage. It is going to be one hell of a challenge if we can down the Netherlands. If we beat them, I'll be absolutely stoked, but it's a big, big challenge. Here is our starting 11 for this round of 16 clash, and it is a very, very different side to what we're used to. Tommy Urich is there. Right, Curtis Good, Elder. And here is the Dutch side, so... De Vries is there, Daryl Yanna, Jasper Sillison, uh, Zivkovic, Quincy Promes, Kevin Strootman, Memphis Depay. We're really going to have a difficult time. So the Netherlands have a corner here, 18th minute. Quincy Promes whipping that one back post. They get their header on it, but it goes straight to Matty Ryan. Tommy Urich going short. We're running sideways. Here we go. We're going to play it through there. Come back to me. Urich. Back to us. We hit it. Oh, I thought we scored for sure there. It's been a very boring game, and I thought we took the lead. He's going to play me through. Cross me. Comes in. We get our header on it, but it is cleared away from Yanman, I think. The Netherlands are on the attack. Memphis Depay. What's he going to do? Crosses that one. Yanman hits it. Thank God he blows that one over. The Netherlands on the attack here. Luke De Jong out to Memphis, back to Luke De Jong, no! Oh, thank God for that! I thought the Netherlands would have scored for all money there. What a miss by Luke De Jong. Come on, is this our final opportunity of the game? We play it through to Moy. Don't tell me, we're gonna win in the 90th minute, right? Hit it, tag it, no! He misses in the 90th minute. That could have put us through to the quarterfinals, but now, we are heading to extra time. First half stoppage time. Wijnaldum, locked. They hit it! Oh, good save from Matt Ryan. I was not expecting that. The Netherlands, no, they're on the attack. They hit it! Oh, they missed it again! Was he offside or did he just flat out miss that? Oh, what a miss. This has been a game of close calls. Go on, clue, out, come out to me. Here we go, 115th minute. Can we be the hero? We play it through. Luongo, no! How have we not scored? Massimo Luongo. That's full time, fellas. We are heading to a penalty shootout. I think this might have been the first penalty shootout in the entire My Player series, and it's the final episode. Can we win on penalties? Come on, lads. First man to step up. Jamie McLaren up against Sillison. Come on, Jamie. What's he going to do? Hits it down the middle. That's 1-0 in our favor. Now Luke De Jong. Matty Ryan. Come on, Matty Ryan. Do a Mark Schwarzer. Be a goalkeeper. Make the save. No, it goes just over him. Adam Taggart next up. I wonder where we are in the order. Adam Taggart. Hits it. No, it's saved from Sillison. Sillison makes the save. 
Come on, Matty Ryan, you have to save it for us. He misses. Yes, okay, we've redeemed ourselves there. Trent Sainsbury next up. Plays for us in the Hertha Berlin series. How's Trent going to do? He stutters. He hits it. That is a great penalty there from the centre-back. If Matty Ryan says this, it is now our advantage. Genie Wijnaldum. Oh, he blows it over too. We have the advantage. And now this is us. Okay. I'm going to hit that one. Top right-hand corner. Come on, Jared. We score the goal. Get in there. We score in the penalty shootout. If Matty Ryan saves this, I'm pretty confident we are heading into the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Come on, Matty Ryan. Come on, mate. Save it. Hits it. He saves it. We're heading to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. A penalty shootout victory against the Netherlands. Matty Ryan saves the penalty. What a game. Come on, fellas. The World Cup quarterfinals. We have been drawn against Germany. Freaking Germany. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Here is the tournament draw. So in the other quarterfinals, Spain, Portugal, Belgium, Brazil, and England, France. So some really big games. Here is the Germany side. So Leno is in goals. I saw Ertzel on the bench. Muller, Goetze, Royce, Cruz, Gundogan, Boletang, Hummels. They've got a freaking top-notch side. And then here is our starting 11 for the game. Luke De Vier is in the centre-back role. A lot of players are going to be fatigued after that Netherlands game. Uh, we are up front with McLaren. Rogic is there. Antonis passing this one to us. We're going to play it through there. Aaron Moy hits it. No. Why can no one in this Australian side finish? Germany continue to attack. Tony Cruz going to Gundogan. Muller. Through to Goetze. Good save from Matty Ryan. Germany on the attack. Gundogan. Goetze. What's Goetze going to do? He hits it off the crossbar. Why was Matty Ryan so far off his line? He's on the ball, Marco Royce. Great ball there to Tony Cruz. They hit it. How are we not behind in this game? Germany are taking awesome long shots. Germany on the counter attack in stoppage time. Marco Royce, they got the open man. They cross it. Diving header. Thank God for that. Boateng stuffs it up and blows it over the crossbar. Whew. We are heading to extra time for the second game in a row. Good tackle, Sainsbury. Passing it here. Get on side. We're going to go ourselves. Come on, Jared. Play it through. Through to Sainsbury. He crosses it. Oh, Leno just intercepts it. We're going to have a crack. Head up. No. Jerome Boateng. They must be playing all out attack. Passing that one to Bellarabi, who chips it. Oh, thank God he put too much on that. Rogic, play me through. We're on side. We're going to tap it on there. Come back to me. Can we win it? We're going to hit it. We win it. We win it. 120th minute. We're heading to the World Cup semi-finals. Where was the Germany defense? Oh, yes. What a finish. I'm so tired. There it is, fellas. Full time. Once again, we leave it late. Oh, I'm so, I'm so mentally and physically drained right now. Semi-final. Yes. One more game until we play the World Cup final. A final hurdle in our way. Spain. Jesus Christ, this is going to be hard. I don't know how we beat the Netherlands. I especially don't know how we beat Germany. And I don't know how we're going to beat freaking Spain. If we win this... We, win the, we play the winner of England versus Belgium. Jordi Alba, or Jesse Rodriguez, playing that one to Jordi Alba. Spain, they square it. Oh, good interception there from Sainsbury. Antonis passing that one to us. We go short. McLaren to Clute. We're one-on-one. -on -one. Sort of. We're going to go on the angle. Come on, Jared. Finesse it. Oh, great save from Juan Carlos. Carvajal. Turns the defender. Pass now on to Isco. Good save, Matty Ryan. One matter. Crossing that one in. Isco with the header. Hits it off the crossbar. Aaron Moy passing that one to us. We thread it through. Is that Devontae Clute? 
Come on, Clue. Have a strike yourself. Straight at one, Carlos. Okay. We're gonna pass that one. Pass it to us. Here we go. We hit it. We score the goal. We are one nil up in the World Cup semi-final against Spain. I don't know how. Isco could have scored a hat trick by now. Great ball through to us from Aaron Moy. And we tuck it away nicely with the left foot. Advantage Australia. Carver Hull. Lucas Toro. One match. Did they hit it? Oh, good save once again, Matty Ryan. 68th minute. One match whipping that one in. Nice and short. Get there, Matty Ryan. No. Oh, my God. They should have scored there. Lucas Toro should have scored. Going to Isco. Isco to Alcacer. They go in the box. They hit it. No. Oh, one matter. Thank God. Off the crossbar. Oh, get it away. Oh. There it is, fellas. Full time. We have qualified for the 2022 World Cup final. Once again, we get the win. I don't know how. Isco really could have scored three or four goals for Spain today. Things went our way. We get the win. And we'll be playing either England or Belgium in the World Cup final. Here it is, lads. The World Cup final. Australia, Belgium. Who would have expected that? And that is the beauty that we are fighting for today. Can Australia win our first World Cup? Belgium beat England 2-0 in the semi-final. Of course, we beat Spain 1-0. Here is our lineup for this World Cup final. It's kind of crazy to think that a team made up of mainly 60 and 70 rated players, excluding us because we're the 98 rated player, but 60 and 70 rated players can fight for the World Cup. And here is the Belgium starting 11. They have an insane side. Thibaut Courtois, Ben Teke, Hazard, De Bruyne, Witzel, Bakali, Nine, Golan. We're running. We're going to keep running. Keep going, Jared. We're going to play it out there. Come on. Rodjic. Oh, Rodjic somehow got a foot to it. Nine, Golan. Threading that one through to Kavanda. Kavanda on the ball for Belgium. Oh, he got clipped in the box. He's going to have the strike. What? has our defense just done there? They have had an absolute nightmare. And Belgium are 1-0 up in the World Cup final. How did they score on that angle? Can we get something going? We're going to pass that one to Rogic. Who plays that one over the top. McLaren. Pass it back. McLaren. We hit it. Oh, straight at Courtois. Cutting around. Pass that one. Oh, still got it though. Go short to Moy. Aaron Moy. Come into us. We're going to hit it. Save from Courtois. We just can't break this Belgium defense. Can we do it now, though? We hit it. Ah, nah. Intercepted, though. Play it short. We're going to line it up. Oh, another great save from Courtois. We just can't beat him. Come on, Jared. Keep going, Jared. Have the crack, Jared. Oh, no. Freaking Thibaut Courtois. Belgian man of the match. Cannot believe this. We have a corner. The keeper is up. Matty Ryan's up. It goes in there. No. Get to it. No. No. We lose the World Cup final. Can you believe it? Can't believe it, lads. We went through so... We went to extra time twice. A penalty shootout against the Netherlands only to lose the World Cup final to Belgium. Uh, it's such a sad note to conclude the My Player series on. I'm surprised we even made it to the final. But uh, they, we, it shouldn't have gone down like this, man. Absolutely gutted. Fair play to Belgium. That should be the World Cup in our hands. They won though. We'll take it on the chin, and that's the way we're going to end this series. Fellas, we are going to wrap up the My Player series here. I have one more video coming in the series. That's going to be dropping on either Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, somewhere around there. If you enjoyed this massive World Cup special, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe down below if you are new around here. 
I'm sorry if I'm not acting super upbeat and excited and grateful. I'm just a little bit, a little bit gutted now that we spent the past two and a half hours grinding our gears, grinding the crap out of the World Cup, only to lose in the final. But anyways, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace. Rock.